Hi everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. So for today's video, I would like to share with you how you can make this adorable lace trimmed peplum top using products from Dollar Tree. To start, you will need to purchase some shirts from Dollar Tree. Right now they have like athletic wear shirts at Dollar Tree, so I actually picked up three in the same exact color. I then found roughly where my natural waist was and I used a straight pin to kind of measure out where it exactly was on the shirt. To give the peplum a very full appearance, I actually created a circle skirt pattern. To create the pattern, I used some wrapping paper that I had on hand. You could use newspaper or tissue paper, whatever you have. I just cut out a really big piece of it and then I actually took that piece and folded it in half. I then found a circle skirt pattern online and once I took my measurements, I found that I needed to measure 5 inches down from the corner to create the waist of the peplum. I then took the tape measure and measured 5 inches from the corner about every inch or so from the side. This way I'm creating the waist. I then used a pencil to connect all of the dots and create the waistline. And after I used the pencil, I highlighted it with Sharpie just so I could see it a little better. I then repeated the same process but using the waistline as the top measurement and all you have to do for this part is really figure out how long you want your peplum to be. I decided that I wanted mine to be 11 inches long so I just repeated the same process. I then cut out my pattern on both sides. Now you will need to grab the other two shirts for this project. For this part of the project, I pretty much just cut a straight line right underneath the arms. I used a tape measure to help me stay straight. These shirts have no seams underneath the arms like along the sides, so I was able to actually cut right underneath the arms to create a really solid piece of fabric that doesn't have any seaming in it. Doing this creates a solid, clean piece of fabric to work with. You will need to repeat that process on the second shirt. Now during this project I did have a mistake. I thought that I picked up two extra large shirts but it turns out that I picked up one extra large and one large. But I'm calling this a happy accident because I'm actually going to make a high low version of a peplum. I am now cutting up the folded crease on only one side of both shirts. And to adjust for the smaller fabric I needed to make my circle skirt pattern one inch smaller. Now it's time to lay out the pattern and start pinning the pattern to the fabric. I simply place push pins about an inch apart from each other up both sides of the circle skirt pattern. Once the pattern is secure on the fabric by the pins, I simply took my scissors and cut around the outside. I then repeated the same process with the smaller piece of fabric. Now that I have my two pieces cut out, I'm going to take the fabric and put right sides together. That means the side that has a seam like you see. I'm putting right sides together and then I'm going to pin along the seamed edge on the top. Once everything is pinned together, it is time to sew, and I'm simply sewing a straight line down the two pieces. It's funny, anytime that I'm sewing, I can still hear my 6th grade home ec teacher telling me to not speed on the sewing machine, meaning pushing the, the pedal down way too hard. I can still hear her saying that. I then repeated the process on the other side. I then cut off the extra fabric that was on the outside of the seam on both sides.
and there you have the cutest little peplum. I then took the t-shirt that we will actually be using for a t-shirt and measured the distance from the waist to the bottom. I then cut about an inch below the waist mark. I just wanted to make sure that I had a little extra fabric just in case something happened. Now just like with the peplum, you are going to put right sides together. Ignore the fact that right sides are not together in this part. I don't know why I filmed it that way. I just didn't get a good shot of when I actually fixed it. But you're pretty much going to just shove the bottom of the skirt inside the upside down and inside out peplum. Then you will be pinning the peplum to the shirt. I then brought the piece over to the sewing machine to sew the peplum to the shirt. I always go slow and easy with my sewing machine. I just like to make sure things are going right and I don't have to correct a mistake if I don't make the mistake in the first place. I'm still new at sewing and I'm still definitely learning. So I just simply attached the peplum to the shirt. Now to add the lace, I found these head wraps at Dollar Tree and I think they are absolutely beautiful. There are so many different styles that you can pick for the lace and pretty much what I did was cut them up to make a really pretty lace trim to go on the bottom of the peplum. It almost has like this scallop like circular pattern on it so I kind of just followed the pattern and I cut off any like partial pieces that were like where the headband was connecting to the lace and that seemed to work really well. I believe that I cut out eight or nine in total. I then took straight pins and attached the lace to the bottom. I wanted to have the lace hanging off of the peplum a little bit. I thought that it gave it a really pretty touch and it added a little bit more length to the peplum which I appreciated. So I just took my straight pins and attached them one on each like bump, I don't know how else to describe that, on the lace. I then continued to pin the lace around the entire length of the peplum. Attaching the lace with the sewing machine was a little more difficult than I had anticipated, but I really wanted to make sure that it was securely on the shirt. So pretty much what I did was I took the sewing machine and I actually used it and sewed on top of like the really thick embroidery that was on the top of the lace. I just wanted to make sure that it was securely attached And the final step was to sew the pieces of lace together. I simply did a straight stitch right up the lace and that's pretty much all I did for that part. It was really easy to do and it just connected all of the pieces together. And here it is, the final product. I could not be happier with how this turned out. I think it is so cute. It is going to be the perfect addition to my wardrobe and I can't wait to wear it to work at my school. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I created this DIY peplum lace top. I had so much fun sharing this with you all. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Liking my videos really helps support my channel and it helps my channel grow. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to have you here and I don't want you to miss my next video. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. If you haven't already, followed me on Instagram at thriftedliving and if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!